Okay, first name, last name, and here's one, number two, a, number three, and then it should be four, and then five, right? But I numbered it incorrectly, but oh well. Um, there you go for these. Um, and then if you didn't do this one here, um, they want to determine all measure of the angles. Um, so this add up to 180, so x minus 20 plus that x equals to 180. Combine these two because they're alike. You get 2x minus 20 equals to 180. Add 20, get 200 equals to 2x, divide by 2, x equals to 100. So this is 100 degrees right here. So that's 100 vertical alternate interior and vertical angles are congruent. Now this other one then must be 80 because 100 minus 20 is 80. Or 80 plus this 100 that's there is 180. And therefore all the rest would be 80 degrees. D is the same one as B. So this one too, this is 180, so you go 3x minus 60 plus that x equals to 180. 4x plus 60, subtract 6, I mean plus a negative, add 60. Get 78 equals to 4x, divide by 4. x equals to... Oh my god, I did it wrong right here. 200 and 40. Yes, 60. X is 60, therefore this is 120. Um, and the other one is um, 60, what's the other one's 120, okay, right there. Um, these ones, I, I just solve for x, you don't have to write all the degrees. So for G, H, and on, just solve for X. So that's how you do J, K, L. These add up to 180, so 3X minus 15 plus 2X plus 5 equals to 180. Get 5X plus a negative 10. 180 add 10. Five x divided by five, x equals three. Thirty-eight degrees. Okay. Then you do the same here. Um, three x plus three. Eighty minus three. Divide by three. x equals to 5, 9, 59, okay, these two look congruent, okay, they are congruent, so you set it up for congruent. 4x minus 20 is congruent to 3x plus 100.
next is it doesn't make sense, you know? So that's why we're only solving for x. 2x plus 2x minus 4, that equals to 180. So 180 equals to 4x minus 4. One eighty four divided by four four six. All right, and that's it. Hopefully, that helps you guys.